Hello, welcome to the Shortcuts for Mac Admins video by Two Canoes Software. First off, you are going to go to Settings and then click on General and then click on Sharing and then turn on Remote Login. You should also change your local host name to be something easy to remember. Next, you are going to open up the Shortcuts app on your iOS device. Click on the Shortcuts tab, then select the plus button, and then add action, where you will search for SSH. Once you find SSH, select Run Script over SSH. If the scripting actions are disabled, make sure you tap Settings and turn on Allow Running Scripts and then return to the Shortcuts app after you're done with that. It's not shown in this video because this iOS device already has scripting actions enabled. You are next going to, under the script, enter, say hello. The host name will stay the same from step number one. And then under the user, you're gonna put your Mac username. For the authentication, tap password and then change it to the SSH key. Next, tap ED25519 and copy the public key. Paste the key into notes and airdrop it to the Mac. And then paste the commands into a separate note and airdrop it to the Mac. Then open the Mac terminal and enter in your first command. This command makes a directory in your home directory and names the new directory .ssh. The second command changes the permissions of the new folder to be only accessible by you. Next, you're going to do the echo command, which puts a blank line in the authorized keys file and creates a file if it doesn't exist. Next is the very critical pb paste command. You're going to want to paste the pb paste command into the terminal and then copy the key that you found earlier and then click enter on the terminal. Do not click enter before you copy the key. Next, you're going to copy another echo command, which puts another blank line in the authorized keys file. Next, this command will change the permissions on the authorized key file, so only you have access. Last, the cat command. This is to show the contents of the file in use. Next, in order to trigger with RFID, you're going to open up the automation tab of the Shortcuts app and then add new automation and search for NFC. Click NFC when it comes up and then make sure that you select it to run immediately and notify you when it runs. You're then going to tap scan and hold the NFC tag to the back of your phone and you're going to give it a name like NFC tag. You're then gonna tap next and run the script over SSH that you created in the prior section. Now you should be able to tap the tag to the top of the backside of your phone and the Mac should say hello. Thanks for watching and visit twocanoes.com for more information.